Hey, it's Max. I'm back with another CSR2 video. So, this season we get a recycled car from long, long ago in a galaxy far, far away in the ancient days of CSR2 where we were still driving Flintstones cars. Anyway, this one is around since about the first few seasons of CSR. So, this at one time was the one of the must have cars and everybody wasted tons of gold keys trying to pull it. It is still relatively rare overall, uh, but it is no longer one of the fastest cars in the game as it was at the time. Now, at the time, you did not have 20 million point milestone crews. Only the very top crews got this particular car. And the top three crews had the shark version, which I'm trying to find here in the dealership to show you. The shark livery is probably one of the most sought after livery um, in the game for cars that are in this game. This is probably one of the coolest looking liveries, uh, one of the coolest cars of the time. And everybody wanted one. Only about 90 people got it though, so it's super rare and you never see them. Now, this season, about 10 crews will get it with the delivery, which will be, what, 300 players? That's not bad. And the rest of us get a white one. Oh well. Well, Pete's not getting one. And that comes down to my quick evaluation of this upcoming milestone. If you're in a milestone crew and you don't have this car yet, you should rejoice even though the only reason we're getting this car is because natural motion couldn't put out their update on time uh, the good news is they're at least throwing you a decent milestone car in fact it's more than decent because this is the only tier 5 five star car that can be maxed completely with just buying dealership cars and stripping which means, unlike all these other wonderful cars that we get, you can actually max this car in a reasonable time. Well, how do you do that? Well, you go and you go buy the regular Hurricane Coupe right here, the regular guy for a million apiece. You strip it and you get Lambo Fusions and Potential Stage 6. Well, how is that helping you? Well, the good news is if you go look at Stage 6s for this car, in your stage six upgrades under lamborghini hurricane coupe and lb hurricane coupe shares the same stage six so unlike all these other cars which does not share stage six they have unique ones including the hurricane perform performante as they call it or perform performante i don't even know how to pronounce it anyway the spider and the regular one does share but it doesn't share with the hurricane coupe whereas the lb hurricane coupe does share it so your chances of actually maxing this car out like i said is very very good that is likely for a newer player going to be the first five star tier five car that you can fully max well that's great and all max i maxed the car it looks pretty it's cool it's got some seriously big wheels on it with rubber band tires which i would never drive on the street because one pothole means four thousand dollar rims done but in the game it doesn't matter and it does have great stance it's low big wheels tucked in wide body gorgeous car any good in uh, the game though well remember this was at one time one of the fastest cars in the game so even though it's no longer holding that title it certainly doesn't make it a crappy car it's still very good from a dyno standpoint this car can do 8.27 dynos might even be able to do better than that i haven't really tuned it too hard but look up the world record tune online i'm sure it's out there somewhere and see what the tune is and see what you can do with it because it does 8.2s this car will get you through tempest 3 1 2 and 3 so if you're just starting off in tempest 1 still and you're asking around well what, what can i use to beat uh uh, Hark uh not harkness who was first larry what do i need to beat larry with well this car will do it you get the tempest 2 and you go well what, what, what can i use to beat dana this car can do it and when you get to tempest 3 you go 
I don't know if I have a car for beating Harkness. My other ones are missing stage sixes and fusions. Well, guess what? You get this car, this car can do it. So it is good for Tempest, and that's a good thing because now you have one confirmed five star tier five car that you can beat Tempest with and can actually max out without spending any money for keys, without having to rely on luck. Well, I'm, I take that back. You still got to get lucky stripping the Hurricanes, but that's just a numbers game. You strip 30 of them, sooner or later, you're going to get it. That's a lot of money, a lot of time, but you'll get the parts. 8.276, 283 mile per hour, 0 0.5550 0 to 60. It'll clear any of the target numbers for any of the Tempest, no problem whatsoever. All right, that's great. Now what? Is it any good in live? Well, the answer to that is depends. It can be because you can tune it to defeat dinos, which means you can place it in a lobby where it is competitive. I, in fact, played with this quite a bit before um, and actually got bumped up because I was doing one of these jobs where this car was beating dino by about a second and a half. Not too smart. I've learned since then to not do it that aggressively and just do something like this where you still have a decent amount of dino beating and not so far out of whack with the lobby that you're going to get bumped instantly. And after 1.19, natural motion made it much easier to bump a car to avoid, well, I shouldn't say to avoid, to kind of punish people who down to and try to get them out of those lobbies and make regular racers feel less like they're getting cheated by dino crushers. Uh, well, Okay, that's fair. I don't have a problem with that. But again, I want my car to have at least a margin of error of being able to beat Dino, and this car will. Uh, that wasn't the best drive. You can actually get about an 8.6 uh, out of this car with an 8.9 Dino, which in most cases puts you in a pretty decent position to be competitive. Let me see if I can drive it better this time. All right, here we go. So this time I should be driving... Uh, closer to 8.6 rather than a 8.7 something. Yeah, 8.631. So pretty good. 8.9 dyno. Now, if you want to make sure you don't get lobbied too poorly, you can always bump it down to a 9.1 lobby and run it there. Maybe make the margin a little tighter like this, where you're like uh, right here. So you're like 9.092. In the top of the 9.0 lobby, if you don't get bumped up into the 8 point something lobbies, most cars that you're facing should not run faster than 8.7. Um, and that makes it pretty competitive in that sense for live. Oh no, zero RPM drop. That's going to hurt the time. If you get a zero RPM drop and you drive it normally, you should probably end up right near dyno, which makes it a 9.1. If you don't get the zero RPM drop, you would defeat Dino and get a nice run out of it. So again, timing the uh, car's launch will be important once you tune it down and bring it to live. Here we go. Just a little bit later. And here we go. Now, actually this car prefers closer to perfect shift. I shift this slightly early so it doesn't um, get as perfect at time, but still, now you do an 8.7 and a 9.1 lobby. Should be competitive. Again, I'm bumped up about two tenths right now. So if I were to go into live, I would be actually be in the 8.9 lobby facing cars running 8.6s. So I may not win, but nonetheless, the car is competitive if you have a fresh car and you're just using it for the first time. So bottom line, good car, one of the only tier five five stars you can max. Um, use the regular Hurricane to max it out. One of the fastest cars originally in the game. Now it's kind of middle of the pack between 7 and 9 seconds. Certainly not slow. It's still an 8.2 car. And it's just a gorgeous car. I mean, it looks great. So good luck this season completing your milestones. And if you have an opportunity to join Milestone Crew this season, do so. Because you'll be rewarded with a car that won't be simply a dust collector in your garage. I hope... This video gave you some good information about this season's milestone car. I wish you the best of luck in completing the milestones and getting this car if you don't already have it. And to those who already have it, hey man, you may get one in white. I got a red one. It would be nice to get a white one. So I'm not complaining.
okay? I like this car enough that a second one isn't going to hurt my feelings. Feel free to comment on my video. As always, um, subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications when I put up new videos. And thank you for watching my videos.